Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm going to be showing you four different ways of how to use these top drilled check loss leaf beads. These are so beautiful and really fun and I just wanted to show you as many ways as possible to use these in your designs. There are all kinds of different techniques that you can use with these little top drilled beads. I know sometimes those horizontal top drilled stringing holes can be a challenge so I just wanted to show you some different ways to use them. The first and easiest way of using these top drilled leaves, stringing them. That's super easy and super fun to do. Great for bracelet and necklace projects. You just grab the beading wire of your choice and you string them right on. You can string them with other beads. That's probably suggested as these kind of uh, jut out in the center. So you'll want like a spacer bead or maybe a seed bead between them um, just so there's no gaps in your beading wire. Great for bracelets and necklaces, as I said. You could even make a little like hoop earring that would be so cute with beads on each side and then crimp the top to a jump ring to attach to an ear wire. That would be a really pretty design and I'm feeling inspired so I might just do that. The other fun way to use these is to put them on an eye pin and make a simple loop on the other side. I did this here. I put the leaf on an eye pin, made a simple loop, and attached to chain that I dangled from this fun little earring. So that's a really an, another simple way to use these leaf beads. So to make a simple loop, it's really easy. And there are lots of different techniques for making simple loops. Everybody does it a little bit differently. Uh, I just use my chain nose pliers to kind of bend the wire as close to that bead as I can. Then I go in with my round nose pliers, grip the wire and fold that eye pin over the nose of the round nose pliers and then fold around all the way. So we've got a nice loop. So I folded my wire all the way over the round nose pliers. I've got some excess wire there that I need to trim to complete my loop. So I'm just gonna go in with my cutters and cut that. And then to complete this, I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to kind of straighten out that loop and then give this a little wiggle so it's completely closed so there's no gap there. So that little dangle is ready to go and then you can attach that to whatever your heart desires. You can attach it to chain like I did here. Again, you could maybe make some beaded links and do some pretty little beads attached that way. All kinds of ways you can take this technique. Another way you can showcase these lovely leaf beads in your designs is to make a messy wrapped loop at the top of the leaf bead and kind of cover the top of that leaf with a messy wrap. So I'll show you how to do that now. You need some craft wire. I have got 22 gauge wire here. Whatever color you like, I'm working with silver today. Um, 24 gauge wire would work just as well too. I'm going to cut off Oh, this is about a foot or so. That'll be plenty. Um, I'm going to cut that off of the spool. And then I'm going to put my leaf bead on the center of this wire. So just feed that through. And this one has kind of a blocked hole. The finish kind of is blocking the hole. So let's see if I can get that through. There we go. I'm going to use my pliers to get it all the way through there and then what you're going to do is you're going to bend your wire at the top of this leaf shape i kind of like to pinch them together now you can use both wires to make the loop that's what i did i just folded both wires to make the loop so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my pliers and i'm going to pinch the top even more together so they're just really close and then i'm going to grasp my wire at the top of that leaf and bend these two wire ends over the top of my chain nose pliers. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my round nose pliers, grasp my wires like this, and then fold the two ends over the top. Move my round nose pliers out of the way so I can continue that loop. And then this is where we're gonna start to make the messy wrap. Again, we have tutorials for how to do wrapped loops and messy wraps. 
uh, on the website artbeats.com and on our YouTube channel if you want further help. And I'm just gonna wrap this around the top of those two wires. And this is looking very neat. You can do this very neat and tidy too. And I'm going all the way over the top of the bead so you, so you don't see kind of that point where the wire folds in. And then I'm gonna use the second wire to just make it a little more messy and organic looking. So that turned out really nice. You've got a fun little messy wrap. Um, I'm gonna tuck this wire in more so it doesn't snag anything. And then I'm gonna trim this wire and tuck it in with my chain nose pliers. And you can use your chain nose pliers to kind of squish and form that messy wrap to your liking. But I've got a really nice one here that I'm ready to attach. Um, you can attach it to eye pins, attach it to jump rings, makes for a cute little dangle. Other technique that I came up with for these leaves is to make like a little beaded frame at the top and then do a little wrapped loop. So a little bit of a variation of our messy wrap and I'll show you how to do this one. Cut off about six inches of wire this time. You don't need as much wire for this technique because um, you're not wrapping as much. You're just making that little wrap at the top of the bead. And you're gonna put your wire at the center. You can fold the ends up. You don't need to pinch them together because we're actually gonna add some beads. I have 11 knot round Preciosa seed beads here. I'm just gonna add three and depending on what size beads you're using, you may have to add more or less to kind of fit over the top of that leaf. And you're gonna add three to each side. So one, two, and three. And that's the perfect amount to kind of fold over the top of this leaf. It makes just like a nice little beaded frame. See that? See how cute that is? And then we're going to make a wrapped loop on top of that. So for this wrapped loop, I'm just going to use one wire for the actual wrapped loop and then kind of wrap the other wire into the wrap that I start to make. So I'm going to use my chain nose pliers and fold that wire over my chain nose pliers. Come in with my round nose pliers, hold it like so, and fold that wire over the top of my chain nose pliers. Reposition them so they're out of the way to complete that wrap, and then coil this wire around the stem. And you can come into uh, with your chain nose pliers to make that wrap tighter if you wish. And this one can be a little messy too, it doesn't matter too much. It all depends on what you want the look to be. With leaves, it's kind of fun to have that organic look and you wanna make sure that your beads don't jump out of the way. So this is a good time to kind of start incorporating that loose wire. And this one, sometimes I like to kind of get that out of the way once I've got the wrap kind of started to hold the, the leaf in place because it likes to jump around a bit. Um, and then I'm gonna just complete that wrap. There we go. That's looking good. And then all you have to do from there is trim your ends. And I've finished them on the same side, so there's a definite back side to this. And then you can kind of uh, tuck those ends in, kind of give them a nice little pinch so they're not snagging anything and I like to kind of straighten out my loops sometimes and just kind of form everything to your liking and then you've got a cute little beaded frame so you can add even more color with those beads and those make lovely little dangles as well I use some copper wire I thought copper wire was fun with those fall leaves and just add them as dangles to my earrings so another fun little technique for using those top drilled leaves and there you have it, four ways to use these wonderfully top drilled leaves with the uh, horizontal stringing holes. Um, all kinds of fun things you can do with those. Let me know how you like to use these leaves um, in the comments. Love hearing from you, love uh, learning new ways to use items. That's the fun thing about our beading community is 
the way I do things might be different from other beaters. So it's always fun to kind of talk about our different techniques for items like this. Um, I've got links to everything you see here in the video description. These pieces are in our design studio with instructions and a supplies list. And of course, we have a lovely selection of leaves for you to work with. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. And as always, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notification button so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thanks again so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.